sample, that's ideal. If you don't, this is how you, you go about mixing soil with water to come up with that. So in, 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 in the lab, what we want to do, obviously we get a soil sample like this. There's, there's a lot of coarse, there's some, some stones and, and whatnot in there. Obviously that's not going to be representative of what actually enters. What we really want to work out is the fine component. So we'll uh, either crush and then put through a sieve, uh, like a one mil sieve, and then measure that out and we'll put like 10,000 milligrams a litre in. But for today, we're not going to do that. I'm just going to throw some soil in. And I give it a stir. You can see in the jar as it starts to flocculate out, it, it starts from the, the top is the cleanest bit. So I know 0.03s, 0.03 mils a litre is going to do it, which is about 30 litres per meg. What I do also want to try and do though is with um, coagulants, I would have gone into it, you can go too high. And so you end up with this window of opportunity where you need to dose in that zone. A lot of times when I'm doing this, there doesn't seem to be a bloody limit, but there really is sometimes. Like some sites, the dose rate might be between 0.02 and 0.03 mils a litre. So that's when you need to decide, all right, I've got to be spot on in my application volume and technique. If you've got this really large window of opportunity, then you, you, you're, you're, you, you're laughing. Like you, as long as you dose within that range, you're going to get a good outcome. 